A win tonight and the Rockbridge Lady Bruins would make history. Jill Nagel's squad had a chance to become just the fourth high school hoops team in Missouri history to win four straight state titles. The last team to do it, St. Joseph's Academy from 1991 through 94. The Lady Bruins returning to the Class 5 final for a fourth straight year matched with Liberty, a team that beat Rockbridge earlier this season. The Lady Bruins in control early. Nice passing Sophie Cunningham to Madison Treese for two. Sophie left wide open. She'll shoot the three. She'll be a Missouri Tiger next year. So will Sierra Porter. She knocks down a three-pointer. Rockbridge up by five at that point. The offense went cold for a long time, though. Liberty, Sydney Allfield, the steal coast to coast for the layup. Liberty led 22 18 and a half. They were up five in the third quarter, but Rockbridge would storm ahead. Carly Offred will hit some big shots. Three ball there in the third quarter. Inside to Porter. Count it and the foul. And Rockbridge was on its way. Bree Ellis with a big three point shot as the Bruins just pull away in the fourth quarter. The four Pete is complete. Rockbridge state champs for the fourth straight year, winning 49-35 over Liberty. Jill Nagel's crew, class five champs. We will hear from the state champion Lady Bruins tomorrow night at 10. Rockbridge, another title. The class five boys title game featured that guy, Kevin Purr, your future Missouri Tiger. Kim Anderson looking on Blue Springs South. The Jaguars taking on Park Hill South Purrier inside that goes down the future Tiger 15 points and seven boards tonight. Brandon Kilgore the and one he had 23 to lead the way Blue Spring South wins the class five championship 71 57 first state title in basketball in Blue Springs South history. Class four state championship games today St. Charles wins it on the boys side over Hillcrest 74 69. St. Charles was down 19 in the third quarter, but came back. That's the same team that beat Moberly in the playoffs. St. Charles, the state champ on the boys' side. Girls, it went to Incarnate Word for the third straight year, 60-27. Nafisa Collier played her freshman year at Jefferson City High, ends her high school career as a three-time state champion. She had 30 points and 19 rebounds in her final game. Nafisa on to UConn now play college ball with the Huskies. Mizzou Wrestling's national title dreams came crashing down after a rough Friday night at the NCAA championships. The Tigers still tied a school record with five All-Americans and had a chance to crown an individual national champion. Mizzou ends up taking fourth in the team race, so they do earn a team trophy at the NCAA championships. Ohio State wins the national title. It's first in wrestling. Drake Howdeshell did win an individual national championship at 149 pounds. He won his matchup in sudden victory. Four other Missouri wrestlers earned All-American honors. Alan Waters was third at 125 pounds. Jaden Cox, a fifth place finish at 197. Willie Miklas and LaVon Mays finishing seventh in their respective weight classes. You can check out all the results from Missouri's run at the NCAA championships on our website. Head to Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. The dramatic turnaround continues for Mizzou baseball. The Tigers, they went 6-24 and in the SEC last season. They're off to a perfect 5-0 start in conference play this year. Mizzou won in walk-off fashion again this afternoon, clinching the series win against sixth-ranked South Carolina. Visiting Gamecock scored the first two runs. Tigers got on the board in the seventh. Zach Levy, the former North Callaway Thunderbird, beats the throw. Avoids the double play and made it 2-1 to one. in the eighth. Ryan Howard, the base hit to left. Brett Peel comes in. It's 2-2. Two, two. They go to extra innings. Top of the 10th, South Carolina's Elliott Caldwell up the middle. The throw home, not quite on the mark. Carolina takes a 3-2 lead, but back come the Tigers. The first two reach in the bottom of the 10th, and then it's Josh Lester deep to center. That's good for a sack fly. It's 3-3 later in the 10th. 2-1, two, 2 out. And here's your hero, Trey Harris, with the base hit to center field. Here comes Howard with the game-winning run. Missouri does it again. Their fourth walk-off win of the year, 4-3 over South Carolina. The Tigers clinch their first series win over a top-10 team since 2008. They'll go for a sweep tomorrow. That was the craziest moment of my life so far, to beat the number six team and really just shock the world, kind of. That's kind of what we did. Nobody expected us to do anything, so... Hands down the craziest moment. I can't tell you how proud I am of, of, of what they did in that game because it was uh, just over it so many different times. And 
that's the character that we've shown all year. Uh, first time the home crowd's got a really chance to see it, and, and it's something that um, you know, hopefully we can continue that, but it, it's, it's a pretty strong foundation. Opening day for several high school baseball squads. The Jefferson City Jays hosting Fatima at Vivian Field. No score until the fifth inning. The Comets jump on top. Matt Temin with the double to left center field. Zach Hudspeth, he gets in there. It's 1-0 Fatima. Sixth inning, it's Hudspeth at the plate. He's got an RBI double. Will Robertson comes in, 2-0 Comets. Jays got a run in the bottom of the sixth on a throwing error. They had the bases loaded with two outs, but Brady Weaver in in relief. Gets the ground ball to get out of the jam. Fatima gets the victory over Jefferson City by a final of 2-1. to one. Baseball triple header at Blair Oaks today. The Falcons wrapping up the day against the rival Eugene Eagles. Bottom three, two on for Mason Geip. The Falcon drives it to the wall in right center. That's a two-run triple, 2-0 two Blair Oaks. That was all the offense in this game as Blair Oaks beats Eugene by a two-zip final. Falcons and Eagles both beat Camdenton today in Wardsville. Rockbridge, the defending state champs, they open the year with two victories, beating St. Mary's and Notre Dame Cape Girardeau. A split for Hickman on opening day. The Cutes lose to Willard 8-2. They come back and beat Truman in the nightcap 5-4. The Lynn Wildcats win a pair of games today over Scott City and DeSoto. Mexico loses to Marshfield but then beats Excelsior Springs. Russellville drops two on the road in baseball today. Vienna a 7-6 winner over Newburgh. Girls Soccer Southern Boone takes second in the Lebanon tournament, beating Liberty Mountain View, losing to Lebanon today. Hickman wins the Waynesville tournament with two shutouts today over Camdenton and Waynesville. Battle drops a pair of games in soccer today, losing 2-0 to Kickapoo. And they also lost to my alma mater, Bishop DeBerg, 7-2.